All right, what is up guys? How is everybody doing first off? Let's start off with that. Welcome to my channel. My name is Tyler Nolan. This is Ronnie. I don't know who's new to the channel or not, but this video is pretty much just gonna be a bird update for you guys. Long story short, I rescued a bird, super loud. Not super, not necessarily super mean, but he was very scared of me, very scared of a lot of things, very scared of his environment, yada yada. He was relocated to a really good friend of mine's house in Homestead. He has huge aviary there. Phoenix, my rescue, is super happy now. He's doing great. I keep getting these noise violations. I live in Boca Raton, Florida, South Florida. It's a nice area that I live in. I got neighbors with very strong opinions about animals. So today I went to court and I had a hearing. So, I go to this hearing today, and Hi, we still have these noise violations that I have to go talk to the city about. They have recordings of Phoenix, the old bird, screaming, and then makes him scream, so they're going back and forth. They got a bunch of videos of that sort of thing. Your nails are really sharp. I gotta cut those. But... Pretty much what it comes down to, ah. the complainants, they were at the court hearing. Keep in mind, these people live right across the canal from me. And when I was keeping my birds on the patio, yes, when they scream, it's a little bit louder outside because it's on a canal and it echoes. Now, I don't keep them outside. I don't even have the rescue anymore. All I have is Tarouk. So Tarouk's cage I have inside. I have him in a Florida room in my house. Um, I'm actually, I got some, a bunch of people suggested that I soundproof the room. So I went on Amazon. And guess what? I ordered a whole bunch of these foam pads. Do you like these? Do you like these? Ordered a whole bunch of these foam pads. Don't destroy them. Just for you. Don't destroy them. I got a hundred of them. I got a hundred of them in the room, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set those up in the room. And hopefully that helps some noise cancellation. I'm doing that today. Another thing that I did, I met up with Dave from Bird Tricks. wasn't able to meet Jamie, but I got to hang out with Dave for the day. Dave came over. We're going to drop that video soon. Dave came over. He changed Tarouk's diet. So for the last two weeks, Tarouk has been on a totally different diet. I was feeding him bananas and fruits and stuff like that throughout the day. That high sugar content was making him very hyper. They have to get rid of that excitement and they have to burn off that energy from the sugar. So now that he's not on any sugar, he's been acting very great. He's, he's been acting awesome. He's not very loud. He talks to himself all day, but he's not screaming all day. The only time he does scream, which the complainants at the court hearing this morning, they had a video of him screaming this morning because my dog was barking. If the mailman comes, or if somebody comes in front of my house, if the lawn people come over, if the pool guy comes over, guess what? I have a German Shepherd. She's very protective over this house. She's gonna bark, okay? So somebody came over to the house this morning at 11, of course, before the hearing. They got a video of the dog barking and him squawking a couple times due to her barking. So now, I'm gonna have to do something about my dog barking. When I'm not home, if somebody comes to the door, comes to my house, she's a dog, she's territorial. So the only thing I can do is I have a, a lot of people are gonna judge me for this. It's a, it's a shock collar. A shot collar for the dog, it doesn't hurt them, it just scares them. It, what it does is it vibrates a little bit, and the dog thinks it's getting shocked, which I don't even have to even really, I don't even have to turn the thing on. Because as soon as my dog sees this collar that vibrates when she barks, she's scared, and she's like, oh, I, kn I know I'm not going to bark. So hopefully, I'm just going to put this bark collar on the on Shiva. Hopefully that'll settle up the whole noise thing. If she doesn't bark, rile him up, he won't scream during the day, everybody wins. I don't think of what else to do. They were trying to tell me if it happens again, 
it's gonna be a hundred dollar fine every time somebody calls and complains about it, which is crazy because <laughs> well, every time he screams and every time somebody calls, oh, your nails, man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta file his nails when I'm done with this video. They are like <laughs> razor sharp talons. How do they get so sharp overnight? If they weren't sharp yesterday, now they're razor sharp. They're cutting me open. What it comes down to is I have a seven day grace period to where now if they do have a screaming fit and they're misbehaving the city's gonna get called and the city's gonna have to come out and they're gonna have to assess it again and they're gonna have to make sure that my dog's not barking and the bird's not screaming so hopefully it all goes well because i'm not gonna get rid of, i'm not gonna get rid of taruk i have a guest room in my house that i can move his cage to but the whole point of having his cage in the florida room he can see outside and it's more natural for him like i'll, I'll shoot it's, it's beautiful it's a beautiful little setup for him. It's awesome. Here we go right here. This is his setup. Hi. He's got this whole view to himself, which is Hi. awesome. So I would have to have to move his cage on account Hi. of my neighbors being a bunch of jerks. Hi. Hi. I know you're here. I get it. We, we all get it. We see you. <laughs> we get it. We get it. So. Hi. Hopefully this uh, gets resolved soon. Ah. Uh, I would hate to have to move. I love my house. Um, that would really suck. Not looking forward to that, especially getting a hundred dollar fine every day. And I'm gonna start flight training him too. So stay tuned for that video with Dave from Bird Tricks. We did a little training session with Taruk. We switched his diet, talked about why it was bad for him, this, that, and the other thing. His wings are also growing back. He's almost got all of his flight feathers back, you see? Look at that. He flies around the house now. He could totally, even though he's missing, what, one, two, he's missing four flight feathers right here. That's it, just these little four feathers. See that? Just because he's missing these feathers doesn't mean he can't fly. He flies perfect. Like, he started flying when he was a baby. He's already plenty strong to fly. He flies, even this morning, he flew off of his perch. He flew around the, he flew around the river room. He landed by the front door. He was hanging out. Hopefully everything is figured out soon. Because I'm tired of it. He's tired of it. Everybody's tired of it. So I'm gonna soundproof the room a little. I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna cover that front wall that overlooks my canal as as much as it sucks. But like, if the if my neighbors behind me are complaining about the noise, that means the noise is projecting this way. So if I cover that wall, hopefully these pads will help absorb some of the scream and it won't be that crazy for them and my neighbors won't hate me as much as they do because I don't want to have to leave. But I want you to behave. Because, hey, would you stop? You have to behave yourself. So hopefully we get it figured out because it's ridiculous and I'm sick of it. So stay posted. I'm sure we're going to do more videos of Taruk's training. I'm going to post that bird tricks video soon. Um, I'm actually, I leave the country tomorrow, super excited about it. We're going to be filming, me and a buddy that I'm not going to tell you who it is, we're going to be filming a whole bunch of awesome adventures. Tons of venomous snakes, tons of animals, tons of birds, tons of everything. The place that we're going to, this next place that we're about to travel to is going to be so epic. I'm so excited to be able to, to be able to do this, to have a life that allows me to just pick up and pack a backpack and go on a crazy adventure. The next few videos are gonna be awesome. Let me know what you think. If anybody else has any more recommendations of how to cancel noise, which that's the best thing. Like, as long as my dog's not barking, he's not squawking. Hopefully these work, right? Hopefully these work. Yeah, yeah. hi Jimmy. Hi. Stay posted. That's it, I don't know what else to talk about, right? Are you ready? Ready to pack? I gotta pack my suitcase and I gotta leave. Leaving the country, bro. We're leaving. We're leaving. You're gonna be you're gonna be taken care of while I'm gone, okay? Have any suggestions? Feel free to leave them in the comments. One of the comments on the last video about the bird update, somebody sent me a couple laws, a couple laws about book about the sound ordinance. That was actually really helpful. Um I really appreciate whoever did that. Stay tuned. The next couple of videos are going to be sick. Hope you guys are liking the new intro and what's going on. I'm trying to make it more general for everybody. Not everybody likes screamo music. 
I'm not really. I, I listen to 90% country, to be honest with you. Anyways, that's besides the point. Stay tuned. <laughs> like, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you know when I post a video. Everybody have a great day, great weekend. Stay safe. Make sure everybody gets plenty of love and food and treats and kisses. Okay, peace. Oh, and for the record, people keep noticing that my finger is gone in these videos. Every every other video, so obviously a lot of you guys know what happened. I got bit by a king cobra two years ago. Never, I got bit on election day. My attorney called the hospital and FWC made sure that nothing hit the media. You can't Google it, you can't nothing. I got the footage of it. I have the story, I have everything. I'm gonna release it soon. We're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna go to Tom's house. We're gonna talk about the day, why I got bit, what I do now to make sure that I don't get bit, uh, the safety precautions that I use. Yeah, I still mess around with cobras and I still do snake stuff, but totally different in, in different circumstances. Um, we're being reckless. Play with fire, you get burned. Pretty much is what it comes down to. So stay tuned for that. I keep telling everybody when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm gonna release the main story. I'm gonna go revisit the king that bit me. We're gonna clean his cage. We're gonna talk about it. It's gonna be a whole event. It's gonna be great. Okay? So, thanks guys.